his position, regain where he used to be when he was hungry, when he was desperate. Mm -hmm. And that's why he fought so, so intensely tonight. This and is tough for me. Because here, I, I, I'm standing next to a legend, okay? And far be it for me to refute anything that Joe Rogan says, but here's my reality. We haven't learned a damn thing about Conor McGregor based off of this fight. Really? Because who were you? Listen, the man did not get hit other than one kick to the arm. That's it? I mean, he didn't. Listen, look, I have gotten hit that much in the last week, okay? <laughs> and I don't fight. I mean, come on, y'all. The fact of the matter is we don't know and we know. Because I could see your face in the middle of it all. Champion, How awkward you know, is that for you to stand between the two of them and go, what are you guys fucking talking about? Yeah, like, I, that's, that's what I why you need guys like you mm -hmm. doing post-fight commentary and discussing these, not people who don't understand the sport and practice dick punches. I could have ran for 40 seconds. I disagree. We learned. We learned he okay. rises to the occasion. We learned he can put Cowboy away. We learned that he can land okay, a head that's kick. Fair. That's we fair. Learned yeah. There's a, a mentality that goes along with that kind of sports radio, sports guy talk. I hate that shit. I've resisted that from the beginning, and I've, I've, I've shit on those guys yeah. from the beginning because it's not the same thing. You're not talking about the same thing. You're talking about fighting. You're talking about unbelievable physical consequences, including knock on wood in our sports, very rare, but death. First of all, <laughs> someone needs to explain to me what's happening here. Yeah. Yeah, well, know, it looks like a dick a punched baby. to the left. <laughs> I don't even bottom. think it's a dick. Unless that guy's got a two-foot dick. Look how low he's punching. Uh, no idea, man. This I, guy should not be allowed to talk about fighting. But there's a lot of currency in being a Stephen A. Smith. You yeah. know, he's really entertaining. That that shit talking that he does. He's a he's you know he's a, he's a guy that's fun to watch. He talks a lot of shit. He gets real loud, and everybody disagrees with him. And look, it's made him a fantastic career. That's why, and he carries that over to MMA. I think it's a bad idea. Me, Stephen A. Smith. Me being at. The Conor McGregor fight against Cowboy Cerrone saying what I said that he didn't show us much in 40 seconds. That warrants. It's not good for the sport. It's not good for me. It's not good for ESPN. I certainly don't claim to be the aficionado you are or anybody else covering this sport. But excuse me. I have been a reporter for 25 years. I have covered sports on a variety of competitive levels, regardless of what the sport is. That includes boxing and the UFC. But anytime you want to talk to me about this fight, or you want to talk to me about my credentials to discuss something in a world of sports, name the time and place, Joe Rogan, I'll show up. It's not a problem. It was a dice man 24-7. <laughs> He's wearing these leather jackets everywhere. Everywhere he goes, he's got weightlifting gloves on. Every time you meet him, he's got weightlifting gloves. He became this guy, right? And it's a thing that happens to people sometimes where people love one thing. Yeah. You lean into your fans. And I think Stephen A. Smith, I don't know him as a human being. I've only met him a couple times. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Nice guy to me. We had a nice conversation. On air, we had a little weirdness because he was just saying, we didn't learn anything about C Connor. I'm like, the fuck you didn't? Yeah. He just destroyed Cowboy in 40 yeah. seconds. Like, you learn something. You learn he could perform under the bright lights in a giant pay-per-view after more than a year and a half out of the game. Yeah, you learn something. You just don't yeah. know what you saw. Yeah. Yeah, I I was upset at Stephen A. Smith. And then uh, yeah, and he made a video I, responding I, yeah. to me. Come on. Listen, uh, Stephen A. Smith, I guess I should respond, right? Uh, you're a very entertaining guy. I like you a lot. Uh, and uh, I appreciate the props you gave me in that video. But you're wrong. Yeah. Cowboy got... Cowboy got fucked up with those shoulders in the clinch. He had Connor's arms tied up, and they're in tight spaces. Connor dips low and slams this bone of his shoulder into the nose. And he's at the beginning of the round. Connor's a fucking super explosive guy. Super explosive. All muscle, just fucking pulled tight at the beginning of the fight, and just bang! Bang! He got off good shots, and Cowboy was confused. I think he was flustered. Flustered. I Ooh.